I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the founder of the church I served as a bishop. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many others have made a similar journey into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about, people who want to share their story. So if you're a Latter-day Saint seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl, and I appreciate you spending some time with us and watching these interviews from St. George. We're here, and uh, we've got Colleen Chavez, very pretty name. They'll see it spelled on the screen, and a and, uh, very pretty name. Is that uh, French? French, <laughs> okay. That's your husband's <laughs> name, I guess, and so oh, that's a pretty name. So where were you born, and what's your uh, background? I bit? was born in Murray, Utah. Okay and um, <clears throat> grew up in a small town, Copperton, at oh, the yeah. base of the Bingham Canyon, That's Copper right. Mine. Yeah, the old Copperton. And lived there all my life until I got married and moved out. Really? So you went to high school, Bingham High School? Bingham High School. The old miners there? I'm um, old miner, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're quite the football team these days, I yeah. guess, aren't they? Yeah. And, yeah. Well, they've always had a good athletic program. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> well, so were you uh, born into a, a Mormon church? Yes. Were your family LDS? Yes, and, they were LDS. Yeah. And uh, in that small town, we did have a Methodist church and a Catholic church. Really in Copperton, huh? In Copperton and a Mormon church. Oh. Most of the town people were Mormon, but we all got along yeah. with one another. That wasn't a... It never it seemed an of, issue. It was yeah. never an issue. Oh, good. Yeah. So were you always active, though, in the church? And um, yes. In, I think that in, in a small setting like that, the church becomes the social gathering place. Yeah, yeah. Um, it becomes your life, for <clears> sure. My yeah. parents were active, and um, so, you know, we were yeah. blessed and baptized into the church, and <laughs> sure. we just kind of went along. And yeah. How many brothers and sisters? I have an older sister and a younger brother. Okay. And... So we just kind of did everything that you do yeah, as a, a, as a good youth, Mormon family. <laughs> Mormon family. Uh, we didn't hold family evening, and we really didn't study any of the books yeah. outside of being in church. No, no. Yeah, so just as the far scriptures as, and stuff. You know, and that. reading and studying and stuff. We didn't do that. Right. I think my parents just felt like we were getting enough of it at church and. <laughs> That was well, when we were really young, I don't even know that they had a full family home evening program, or did they? I, I think that kind of came along. Come a little bit more when I started later. having kids. It seemed yeah. like that's when they used to produce the family home evening manual right. and that kind of stuff. So, right. but we went to church three times a day, didn't we? Yes, and we did. <laughs> we went in the morning and again at night, and then we went to MIA or primary uh, on a, on, on different nights, days. Yeah, and, and uh, had lots of. Um, there was a really active girl athletic group out of our church, oh, did, Copperton. Yeah. And we used to just go down to the valley and win all the tournaments, basketball <laughs> and softball. And win all we, the tournaments, yeah, huh? we, we were good. So when you say down in the valley, you mean you went down into Down Salt into Lake West valley? Jordan. Oh, okay, because you're up more up on the hill. Yeah, we went down into West, West Jordan there. and Riverton and Bluffdale yeah. and Harriman. Well, did you go to youth camps and that kind of stuff? Um, Young one. We uh -huh. didn't do that you then. Didn't do too many of those. No. Huh? Okay. I, they didn't start that until after I got them. Was okay. Up. So, did you take seminary in high school? I did take seminary. Yeah. I didn't like it. Oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> and for what reason? I I just never really could settle down, and I just I just didn't like it. I didn't. Oh. I had lots of questions, and it was just a a free period for me uh -huh. out of my school. Yeah. And if I could go to cheerleading practice or anything else or you dance, did <laughs> I did that and got out of seminary. I, I just, I didn't uh -huh. enjoy seminary. Uh -huh. I did graduate, yeah. but I wasn't. Real thrilled with the whole. I wasn't a star pupil, <laughs> no. <laughs> but church, I mean, you went to church and I did you have questions there the too? I, I did have questions. Um, of course, I didn't ask them 
you kept know, because I was kind of kept them to myself and yeah. just uh, so many, some of the questions I had, people would just say, well, don't worry about it. It'll all be taken care of. Yeah. It'll all be answered, you right. know, and so you Eventually just kind of stopped. Yeah, yeah. asking. I uh, played the organ for Sunday school. Oh, wow. That was one of the things that I did until I So you were a pianist and organist college. and everything? Well, <clears throat> I managed it. I wouldn't say I'm real proficient, but it was it was good. Okay. <laughs> so then you go off to college, you say? So then I went up to the University of Utah. Okay. And I lived away from home because it was kind of far. Yeah, I lived with a, my grandmother for a couple of years. That would have been quite a commute every yeah. day to do that. So we come back on the weekend, but by then a lot of my friends were gone. Getting married or missions uh, Getting married or and, yeah. and just, you know, moving away. Yeah. Um, and I, that's kind of, I just become kind of inactive. When I went back to Copperton, oh, oh. I would go back to church okay. once with in a while with my parents, yeah. Well, thinking back during that time, what, so we don't always ask this question, but what did you think of Jesus and the Bible and some of the you things? You know, I was never introduced to the Bible. I can't really remember Book of Mormon, uh, the for Book sure. of Mormon for sure, <laughs> and the Doctrine and Covenants, yeah. Pearl of Great Price. Those were the three books that I, I heard about, and I, I don't, I did never read the Book of Mormon. I just wasn't interested. The Book of Mormon. Yeah. Okay. You so didn't I, even I read never that did. No. For seminary either, I, of course. <laughs> I had to read it for to get through and yeah. get by, and, but yeah. it wasn't wasn't something that I really was study. interested and in. And the Bible. Not the a, Bible, you know, the church never told us about yeah. the Bible other than it was a book that, that wasn't funny? translated correctly. Yeah. And so, and, and how would you know what's translated correctly or not? <laughs> right. That's one of the questions, you know, I yeah. wanted to ask. Well, how do you know yeah. what, what, what part is, is right and what, what isn't? What, right. And um, so I never read the Bible. So funny. No? Yeah. And so, uh, anyway, so what happens in life? You I uh, went to college and got engaged and married an um, um, LDS boy from Midvale. And was he active? And, and he was inactive. inactive. His parents oh. were active. Okay. And he came from a quite a large family, six brothers and sisters, and I don't really think any of may I, I think maybe his brother was, but the sisters weren't really active. Really active. Um, and so he you didn't was go not to active. church with them and no. much? With no. The, uh, that wasn't what, something that we, we oh, did. You have children? Then, With uh, my first husband, I had two oh, little boys. Okay. And um, did you baptize them? Right they, when they came well, home? we got divorced. Oh. And they were three and six when we got oh. divorced. So uh, then I went and I worked. I was a nursing home owner and administrator for 48 years, so oh that was my wow. my position. Was that, and where was that at? Very busy. <laughs> where was that at? Uh, I started out with two homes in Salt Lake. Okay. And then um, we got we my second husband was a boy that I grew up with. He was my age, and we grew up together in Copperton. Oh. And his parents and my parents were very good friends. They went on vacations together okay. and stuff. We had a group of 21 of us that were all the same age little in that little town. And, yeah, yeah, and so we were really good friends. And I met uh, him again, and we kind of just started dating. dating. <laughs> and um, I thought, gee, this is going to be really interesting, and maybe I'm going to get back in, into, the, into the church. Mm -hmm. He was a, a return missionary mm -hmm. from our ward up in Copperton. Yeah. So we got married. Um, my boys were three and six. They yeah. were still young. So as time went by, a couple of years, we had a daughter okay. together. And by then the boys were a little bit older, but as they came of age, we did have them all baptized. baptized. Okay. Yeah. And after, I'd say maybe two or three years, we decided that we would go to the temple. Really? We did start to go to church. We did take the boys to church. And yeah. I remember taking my little daughter, baby yeah. daughter, toddling around to church. Um, and so I thought, okay, we're on the right track. This yeah, is we're what, what we're, we're supposed, supposed to, to be doing. Yeah, yeah. And so when he talked to me about going through the temple, I said, oh, sure, you know. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. So we did, we went through the temple and had the kids 
um, sealed to us. Yeah. And he eventually adopted my two boys. Oh, okay. So. Um, and had them sealed to him? Yes, so they were all, the three of them were okay. sealed in the temple. What did you think of the temple? I usually ask that question. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just thought it was very weird yeah. and very strange. Yeah. And I wish that someone had told me a little bit about what to expect. Right. But nobody did. My <laughs> sister had been through the temple, of course, my mother and dad, and his mother and dad, and he had married his first wife in the temple. Oh. But nobody said anything to me, so yeah. I felt like just it's a... quite surprising when yeah, you get in there. Yeah, well, they and, tell you you can't right, talk you about can't it. Talk about nobody it. did. <laughs> so I just uh, went through the whole thing, and I don't really remember a lot of it. I think I was just kind of yeah, there, but yeah. not. Yeah. And we only went to the temple one other time. Another couple in the ward asked us to go with them. And, and after that, I just told my husband, I, I just felt really strange and I just didn't. Well, your story isn't unique. I know a lot of people that go and you would think that this is the crowning element of the LDS church to be married in the temple for time and all eternity mm -hmm. and I know people that do go often and regular so I'm not speaking for them obviously but there's a, a vast majority a very large number of people that you would think that they would want to go back that this is the f crowning moment of their Mormon life is to go to the temple and yet it's it's just not it's not it it's just, shocking and no, it's I, disappointing I, in some ways. I thought about how the church talked about, you know, cults and different things. Different people had different strange yeah. things that they did. And, and I thought to myself, my gosh, you know, Mormons are right Talk up about there. Strange. We've got <laughs> our own, you know, and it just, I just uh, felt very uncomfortable. And yeah, uh, it's just, it's not just, very long after that, we took our garments off and became inactive. Really? Yeah. Now, did you ever feel, well, eventually we'll get back again or something? You know, I, mean, I really didn't. Didn't you? I didn't. You really felt I just, like this was I the really time. thought, you know, I've done all I'm supposed to do, and it just is not working for me. And mm. I, I'm not going to get to the celestial kingdom, I'll and I don't want to be up there I'll anyway. I won't know that. anybody. <laughs> I'll just be in the bottom. <laughs> That's where all my I'll friends will be. Take whatever I get. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, it wasn't... Because yeah, we just don't feel worthy enough. We, yeah. we know we've fallen short and we just aren't, yeah. It's just so funny now that we look back on it as, as we do now. Yeah. We'll get into that, I guess, in a minute. So how long did this last? Did this uh, go for quite a while? My second marriage lasted for 24 years. And you, I mean, I mean, you were in oh. this, in that, well, no, that's fine. But in active moment, in inactive period time. for all mm -hmm. that time? All that time. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. what kind of changes? Changes your perspective. Had you ever been to a well, Christian church, for no, example? No, I hadn't. I had you, never you been. Still to weren't the, reading the Bible, I guess, no, or the no, Book of Mormon at that point. No. But. Um, I went <clears throat> with a friend to dinner, and my I, I was with a, another fellow who had moved here from California. He was transferred from uh, California with his job, and he he was not LDS and he had told me that he had a hard time with all the church domination here in Utah. He was about ready to turn around and run back to California but he couldn't because of his job. Did you appreciate what he was saying? Um, or did you understand it? Or yes, did you think, I did. no, that, you know, no, you're wrong? No, I, I agreed with him. Okay. I agreed with him. Okay. You know, because those were some of the same thoughts that I had. But yeah. you know, if your family is in the church and yeah. you don't talk to them, you don't let them know all you, all that you're thinking. Right. They no, throw up that, their hands. Right, and be upset more than they already so, are. <laughs> so my my good friend, uh, we went to dinner and um, she had this guy with her and it was the first time that we'd ever met. And he was fascinating. He was a return missionary. I mean, I'm we're 60 now. Okay. We're okay. 66. And <laughs> he'd <laughs> been on a mission. And I don't really know why he got so determined to prove that the Mormon church was false, oh. that we were following false prophets and but false doctrine. Even as a return missionary and everything. Yeah, there. he had gone away from the church and he had spent years and years writing books and researching. And oh so gosh. he was just fascinating to talk to. Yeah. And I just 
I kept asking questions and wanting, you know, to know this. And then I said to him, I, I want to read some books to yeah. help me understand what it is you're tr telling me. Right. So he gave me the name of three books and I <clears throat> went to the library and of course in Salt Lake you wait forever to get them <laughs> because they only have one copy that circulates the whole thing. Right. But <clears throat> after I read those three books. Uh, can you quickly tell us yeah, what those three were? Um, it was. Um, you do have them written down Emma there. Smith, so Emma Smith. And In Sacred no, Loneliness. And In No Man Knows and No my, Man Knows My History. Okay. And after I read Excellent No books. Man Knows My History, I was horrified. And I have never heard any of this stuff no, before. Yeah. No, no, bits and pieces, yeah. but I had never read about it. <laughs> Seen it black and white. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I, I was just horrified, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is wrong. <clears throat> of course, I couldn't have told my my father had since passed, but my mother was alive, and and there she was. You know, church was important to her and my brother and sister. And so you didn't want to bring it up. So to, I didn't. I kind of talked to my husband about it a yeah. little bit and um, he said that he was a Christian but he you know I mean he's always professed that he was a Christian mm. um, but it was all interesting and new to him too <laughs> and I kind of shared this with uh, my friend down here in St. George um, and so she went she got the book down here and she read it but anyway through it just started me thinking and started me wondering and knowing that there had to be something so this was just a few short years ago oh then. yeah just and think of all the time that you lived thinking the, the only true church you weren't measuring up but at least the church was true yeah. and the prophets yeah. and all that stuff how come all of these people in utah believe in that and i yeah. didn't get it yeah. i just didn't get it yeah. So anyway, I was a little bit validated when I read these books and I thought, hey. you know, what is going on here yeah. and why, why don't the Mormons know about this? Yeah. They wouldn't have read it. No, they just don't. Anyway, because yeah, I think they just to. are told not to right. and they go along and yeah. they don't question yeah. and they're missing so much. Yeah. So I read those books and I just had my heart just kind of upside down wondering you know where to go from here well my friend in St. George <clears throat> had left the Mormon church and her friend down here had left the Mormon church so when I would come down before we moved down we had a house but my husband hadn't retired so I would come down and spend time and we just spent hours and hours talking and they Started shared teaching their, you about the, they did. They the good news to me absolutely yeah of course and I, I wanted what they had. Yeah. And, you know, they told me it was just so easy. All you needed to do was say you believed in Jesus Christ, yeah. that he was your savior. And so I started to go um, to church with them. And I when I went back up home, um, I found a church up there. I just was driving down 13th East and I saw this banner on the wall of this old building are you tired of religion do you want to know God really? and one Sunday I just decided to go in. I just walked in and yeah. that was it. <laughs> I just felt at home I felt comfortable they just embraced me and I just couldn't get enough of it and I wanted to go yeah. back yeah well you mentioned the word easy and I just want to <clears throat> explain that a little bit we Christians have that feeling that it is easy, and yet it's it's more than that. Yes. I mean, it's an easy it's an easy because we can't do anything to save ourselves. It's what Jesus did Absolutely. for us, and now all of a sudden we just trust Him, yeah. right, yeah. for everything, and that makes it easy. But you've probably been busier, studied more, you're closer to God and Jesus than I have than ever been ever been before, yes. and that's not easy, but it's so joyful. Yeah. And we can tell that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you know, I always said prayers. Yeah. Once in a while I did when I was in church growing up, but boy, the power of prayer. <laughs> yeah. And so you started going, t and then you went, I went there? I went to the Rock Church, joined a Bible, ladies' Bible study, and they just embraced me and taught me and 
loved you hot meat. It was started just learning great. about grace yes. and Jesus. At grace, oh. I didn't know about grace. You never talk and about justification it, do we? Yeah. and mercy. Yeah. And the good news. The good news, yeah. So then you moved down here. So a few <clears> years ago, moved down here. Um, I got I sent off my letter to get my name removed from the church. You did. Okay. I did. Um, one of the, the gal down here in St. George said she did it, and so she gave me a copy of the letter that she used to. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> we I, don't have tissues. That's but okay. That's and I said, yes, I want to do that, so I did it. Um, and then I got baptized at the Rock Church. Oh, you did. April 28th of um, 2014. <laughs> and shortly after that, we moved down here. My husband retired, and so we were able to move down to Sun River. Okay. And uh, so I just kind of picked up with Calvary Chapel because I'd been there with yeah. my friends when I was down here. Yeah. And um, Well, just real quickly, your baptism at age eight, uh, or whenever you did get baptized, yes. whenever you were baptized, yes. how does that compare with what you did in 2014? Oh, I don't even remember, you know, other than all of us little mean, primary kids sitting around You mean at eight years old you weren't giving your life to Jesus? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Didn't just even think about Just becoming a it. member of the church, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. Just just a um, ritual yeah, that to, you just were expected to do. Just to get to your do. membership on the church. Yeah. 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 And then, you know, we went, we went all the time to Salt Lake and were baptized for the dead. And sure. I'm in a Bible study now and there's a lot of women in there that have lots of questions about the Mormon Church and you're able to share with and them I can a share bit. a little yeah. bit you know and they want to know well why, why did you do that and I said well because that's what we did yeah. and you know we could have baptized 50 people we didn't oh, yeah, you know who they were <laughs> just <laughs> um, I think I think the LDS Church is a lot of just ritual without any real reason other than that they've always done it. Yeah. I mean, that's how they did it, yeah. and that's how the pioneers did it, and that's come <laughs> out to Utah, and yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and a lot of law. A lot of laws and A lot of works. A lot of works. A lot of works, do's and, and don't, don'ts. And don't understand grace, and, <clears throat> and really, you do sense a different Jesus, don't you? Oh, it, I've been asked if I think Mormons are Christian. Well, who am I to judge? But I don't think yeah, they are. Their heart, maybe. because they don't they don't know the, the Jesus of the Bible. No, they think Jesus is their brother, I know, and he had it? to come down and work out his salvation just like they have to do. You know, I've told that to people, and they say, "No, that can't be." Right. I mean, that, it, it's so funny to say <clears throat> it now, isn't yeah. it? That Jesus had to come and get baptized and get a body, and, yeah, and all yeah, that, and here through. he is, the creator of everything. Exactly. And it makes, and I notice you're wearing a cross. I guess that's yes. taken on a little different significance. You know, I, <laughs> I put this on when I became a Christian because I didn't want anybody to think I was LDS. Because you do certainly it, look like a it, good LDS but lady. But it means so much more to me now. Doesn't it though? Yeah. And it, I know that's a, a sense of, uh, we get criticized for that, the cross, and people look at it. and and they discount it and everything. That's where Jesus did everything for me. Yeah, he shed his blood and took on our sins, and so joyful, isn't it? Well, I gosh. Yes, it is joyful, so <laughs> I don't want, these are tears of joy. I, well, they really are, and I mean, uh, we just live those many, many years under the idea that, that the church is the only true church, and that there's just no other way. I, I feel so bad for my family. <clears throat> And I'm all Mormons. I think they're duped. And I think that it's sad that they don't want to know. They don't want to ask they questions. They don't study at all. They don't study. Yeah. Um, I mentioned one night to my brother, and his comment was, will you bring your Bible over, and I'll bring my Bible over, and we'll compare. And <laughs> I just kind of chuckled, and I said, <laughs> there's, you know, no wh what, they, what they need to do is, is get into the Bible yeah. and find where all of the things are that they've been told they should believe. Right. Because they couldn't find it. No. It's not in the Bible. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> well, we are. So. 
we often talk about the fact that, or when they, that this, Mormons always relate this to the scriptures. I mean, anything we talk about, they talk about is in the scriptures, but they don't really realize what's in the Bible and what's not in the Bible. Exactly. Do they? Exactly. No. Uh, so. No. Well, gosh, you've said a little bit to your family, perhaps, or anything else that you want to say? Well, or, and I... your mother's still alive? No, my mother passed she, on, oh, too, right, and passed. she did not know about my Christian ju ju journey. Oh, she, she didn't? Had. No, she passed she on. Wanna... But I, I um, talked to my sister yeah. about it, and she just couldn't believe it. <clears throat> mm. And she didn't really want to ask questions. She no. didn't really want to know. And the same thing with my brother. Yeah. And he has a beautiful LDS family. He has five daughters and they have beautiful 19 grandchildren. Family, yeah. and, you know, and I love to be with them. They're very special people. More, there's a, Mormons are, are nice people. Yeah, they're fantastic They're fantastic people. people. Yes, and they, they have, you know, beautiful families and beautiful values. <clears throat> but they're, they're just missing so much. They are. They just don't know the Bible. They don't know that who Jesus is and what he did yeah. for them. Well, and they don't really understand the temple. They don't understand so many of the, the biblical concepts that, that are there. And it came, it was here first, you yeah. know, and yeah. so all of this other stuff has been yeah. added. And I, um, I marvel that, you know, my brother and them have made the trip back east to see where the Angel Moroni oh, and the, the sacred the, grove all, and all, all of that, that stuff, yeah. and the, where the Lamanites supposedly came, <laughs> and there isn't one piece of archaeological evidence. No, and yet you, Jerusalem in the Middle East is full yeah. of things that they unearth all the time <laughs> that is proving more and more the, the, the Bible. The reliable the Bible. Is. Absolutely, and yeah. I, I just want to say to them, where's the proof? <laughs> you know, where do you get all of this stuff that? You kind of wonder why, and we were in it. I mean, we, oh. we believed that for yeah. so long, and yet we just didn't have a, we didn't go into studying at all, and now the church has come out with essays. I don't know if you've, you guess you've heard of those, but the church essays and people <coughs> aren't reading those, so. Well, it's a wonderful, joy, joyful journey, isn't it? It's and, great. And you wouldn't it's change great. a thing, I guess, no, I at wouldn't. this point, other than maybe a few I, years earlier. <laughs> I wish that I had become a Christian earlier, but I yeah. don't think that I would have been accepting. I think God, I think God knew had the to time. Do, yep. had the timing down for and, you. And um, yeah. I wish my children, I, my heart breaks for my children and my two little granddaughters. Yeah, I just and I hope, hope that somewhere, go yep. ahead. I just hope that they will get touched and realize someday that yeah. <clears throat> Jesus is Maybe their they'll come to Grandma and get some, get some insight sometime. Oh, you can share the joy there. That would be nice if they would. Can you believe it went so fast? Oh, boy. <laughs> it's all it's over. It's over with. <laughs> it's all over. Thanks, Colleen. Thank that you was so, so much. Awesome. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.